Hey guys, this is Steve Horseman again with Good Guys to Great Men. Thanks again for watching today. Today I wanted to do my annual hummingbird feeder video. I've done one for three years now to talk about the difference between being a hummingbird kind of guy and a mountain lion kind of guy. Yesterday I was in downtown Loveland, Colorado in the old part of town where they have a ton of bronze sculptures all around town. There's a lot of foundries down there, so there's sculptures on every corner. I passed by all of them, I admire them and look, but there's one that I saw I was magnetically drawn to. It was irresistible. I couldn't stop but touch and look at and then take a picture with this guy right here. And what is it? It's a mountain lion. I don't know what it is about the mountain lion. His uh, regal pose, his calmness, his confidence, his badassery. He's just a badass and, and I had to stop and take a picture with him. I want to be like a mountain lion and what does it take to be more like a mountain lion than a hummingbird? Maybe we'll get a visitor here during this video. So you can see the uh, hummingbird is such that jittery, nervous, dodgy, indecisive, afraid, on his heels energy. The hummingbird is always a little bit nervous and trying to find safety and he only comes around when he when he feels really safe. Um, so what's the difference between a hummingbird and a mountain lion? Well this guy, he's unrattled. He doesn't get overly amped up over things. He's not afraid of, of facing things dead on. He's not afraid of being direct. He's not afraid of handling things when things need to be handled. He knows who he is. He knows what he believes in. He knows what he needs to do to keep himself centered. And that's why I use this metaphor. Being a mountain lion kind of guy, being centered, being focused, being calm, being confident in yourself like a mountain lion is critical to your success in life. So you don't get overly reactive to everything that's going around you. Every offense, every insult, every slight, every everything that a woman does that you think is about you, it's not. The mountain lion knows that most things are not about him. That's how we can stay so calm. But the question guys have is, okay, I get it, I get it. The mountain lion's better than a hummingbird. But how do you get into that mindset? If you weren't born a mountain lion, if you weren't born one, how do you get into the mindset of the mountain lion? And what I think it is, it comes from a belief system. There, there, there comes a time in your life when you do this kind of work that we do in the coaching that you, you start to see that as a man that you are naturally confident. You are naturally in a state of, of well-being. You're in a state of peace naturally. That the only reason sometimes you feel nervous or sometimes you feel like you've been rejected or offended or insulted or you're trying to pursue something to make you feel better, the only reason you're doing it is because you have a false belief about where happiness and peace comes from. And because you have that belief, you don't know how to strip it away to find out your true nature. The true nature is this guy. And that's what we do in coaching is help you understand that you don't need to go find your mountain lion energy. You don't need to go find it somewhere because it's already in you. Calm, confidence, peaceful well-being is in you. There are some beliefs you have on top of that are keeping you from realizing that that is true. And it, and it happens from day to day. Sometimes I go into hummingbird mode, right? We're not all perfect every day. Sometimes I'm like these little guys here, but I have to remind myself that it's a mindset. So if you weren't born a mountain lion, the message here is that all you need to do is believe that you were born confident, you were born happy, you were born worthy, you were born valuable. And all by yourself, without any input from outside of you, from anybody else, you're okay. And when you believe that, you start showing up more like this guy instead of these guys. I hope that makes sense. Have a great day. We'll talk to you later.